Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to my channel Hijabi Days. I will be sharing with you guys my very first Umrah journey in the blessed city of Mecca. So let's go and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and hit the notification bell. So we finally left home after doing everything, after getting everything done because you guys know when you're traveling with your family it's always chaotic. But it's always fun. So we were just heading to the airport and we were super, super, super excited because my parents have already been to Umrah once, but um, I've never been. So this was our first family um, Umrah trip together and I was super, super excited. And so was my parents. And we were just headed after our security checks to our gate where it was already time to board the plane. And currently 1.40 p.m. and we are ready to take off. So we just reached at Dubai airport and it's 9 p.m. local time and we were just headed for the security checks and after that I will see you guys. After the security checks we are just taking a bus to our next terminal where our next flight will be from and then we will change into the state of Ahram when we find some toilets there and then maybe if we have time we'll grab something to eat. It is currently 1am Dubai local time and we are just boarding the plane for our next flight from Dubai to Jeddah airport. So I thought I would take this time to remind myself of the important steps of Umrah and using this book which I really really recommend. It was really good and really helpful and I had it the whole time during Umrah. Here the pilot announced to let us know that we were crossing Miqat. It is currently 3.30 am and we have finally landed at Jeddah airport and after the long long queues at the security checks we finally got out and we took a van and we headed for Masjid Al Haram. We finally arrived at our hotel and we stayed at Hilton Convention. It was a great hotel. I have to say their service was amazing but at this point we were so 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 shattered and so tired. We were going on no sleep right now and uh, we were just so tired that we just wanted to check in have some rest but they told us that we could you know head up for breakfast so we decided to go up and have some breakfast because we were really hungry at this point because we didn't have a chance at Dubai airport uh, to eat anything because you know we were so short on time that we had to get changed into our ihram but anyways we we had breakfast obviously i had pancakes because i love pancakes and that was the only thing i had and we had some breakfast all of us and then we headed to our room we had some rest because we really needed it uh we did our wudu again and then we headed to masjid al haram moment we had been waiting for but when we got there, it was nearly time for Dhuhr, so we decided to pray outside first and then head in. So this here is the main gate which you're supposed to enter, especially when you're performing Umrah. There are other gates, but like this is the main gate and we were just ready to head in and my heart was pounding because I was so excited and so many emotions at once and we were just heading in and this was the moment. So you guys must be wondering how it got dark all of a sudden is because I recorded this um, the same day but at night because I when I first saw the Kaaba I, I just wanted to be in that moment so I didn't record it exactly then I recorded this at night. When I first saw the Kaaba it just it just felt so magical it was so beautiful I could not get my eyes off the Kaaba everything just stopped for me at that point it felt so surreal being there the whole experience there were tears and so many more emotions i don't think i'll ever be able to explain but only a muslim can understand what being there means for them and it was just so surreal it's something i can't ever explain it was just amazing made dua and then we did our seventh off and then after our tawaf were done, 
we uh, prayed our two two rakat namaz nafal wajibal tawaf and then it was time for prayer So we finished praying Asr and then we had some Zamzam because we were really really thirsty because of that scorching heat. It was so so hot that we were just go feeling really thirsty but we couldn't drink too much because we wanted to finish our Umrah first and then so you don't need to do, keep on doing Wudu because you need to head right out of Masjid Al-Haram for making wudu, to going to the toilets and then head back in. So we were trying to, I'm not saying dehydrate yourself, but I'm saying just try and not drink too much at a time so you don't have to keep on doing wudu. So when you're done, just head to Safa and Marwa. It's not hard to find your way around, guys. There is a huge green board which says Say on it. Just follow that and it will take you right to Safa and Marwa. And because this war is, uh, we were doing our Umrah during the daytime, it was really, really crowded. But it was still good. It, we still managed to get around perfectly fine. And then when we were done doing our sa'i, there was a little corner where there were women who were cutting their hair. And guys, remember to take your own scissors. And the men just go out to the barbers, but the women just cut their own hair with scissors. Uh, you could just cut a few strands and you're fine. And then we headed out and it was time for uh, the next prayer. And we just found a place outside where the women were praying and we prayed there. And after we finished praying, we headed for dinner. Uh, we found that Al Baik was right opposite our hotel. So we just headed there. It's like when you come out of Masjid Al Haram, it's just like right up on the street. So just go into the building and you'll find Al Baik there. And we had food because we were so hungry at this point after the whole day we'd only had breakfast We didn't have time for lunch because we were doing umrah. We needed to get charged up 
and we needed some real energy. So we had El Bake after the long queues and then obviously we walked down a little bit more because we wanted to explore but we didn't have that much energy because we wanted some dessert but we, we didn't have that energy to go far so we just had some, you know, mango smoothie which we found at this little shop when we walked down a little bit so here we are, it's called Coffee Cup it's just right near Masjid Al Haram so we, I had this and I enjoyed it and it was good and then we headed back to our hotel and we rested there and then yeah we were ready for our next day so the next day we got in to Masjid Al Haram and we prayed Fajr there and the feeling of praying Fajr was just amazing in Masjid Al Haram and then we headed we actually booked a cab for all of us because we were a big family and we headed to do some ziyarats uh, we went to a couple of different places and I will show you them along the way we found we saw these beautiful buildings along the way and I just thought I had to record them so yeah so the first place we arrived at was uh, Mount Thawr it is where Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companion Abu Bakr anhu, were leaving Mecca to escape persecution from the Quraysh and they sought refuge in the cave of Thawr and a spider quickly spun a web across the entrance preventing their enemies from finding them. And this is all mentioned in Surah Al-Ankabut. So we had a little look around and we didn't go all the way up to, to the cave of Thawr because it was a bit of a trek. I think it was like an hour or two trek. And we really didn't have that much energy because we were tired from all that traveling. But we did go into this little thing where people were sitting and they were selling stuff like stones and rings and some other really nice things. And we got some bird food and there were lots of pigeons and... It was nice, it was beautiful, and we had a little look around, and then we headed to our next place. Our next location was Arafa. Coming to Arafah is a very, very important part of Hajj. The day of Arafah itself is a day of immense devotion, supplication, and seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's also the day when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave his farewell sermon. It's the day that Islam was perfected. There are also so many boards to help Hajj pilgrims. And there are so many boards like this one here showing you where Muzdalifa, Mina and Jamarat are. And so these are really helpful obviously when you're doing Hajj. I've never been on Hajj but inshallah one day. And then we headed to Mina, the city of tents. There were so so many tents and it was just amazing. This is where one of the places where you stay during Hajj and we weren't actually allowed to stop and look at the tents because you were supposed to just keep on driving and the driver said you're not really allowed to go in or even stop so we just drove past it and had a look and it was just really nice to see so so many tents The next place where we stopped was to see the three pillars of Jamarat, which represent Ibrahim Salam's temptation to disobey Allah. And we only briefly stopped there and then headed to the next location. And the next place where we had to just go was Mount Nur to see Ghar Hira. It was the place itself where Allah's mercy was bestowed upon mankind and the Quran itself was revealed by Jibreel alayhi salam and I just could not believe that I was there. It was like a really really steep 
um, mountain where you could go up up in your vehicle to a certain extent because obviously it, it, it got blocked up because there were just too many cars and then we just had to stop there and we saw the mountain but we didn't go up because it was a really really long trek and like I said before we were just really tired and this is a lot ahead of us. I was a little bit sad because we couldn't do the trekking part and we missed seeing God Ahira itself but inshallah next time but anyways uh, we headed back to the hotel and then we had another day in Mecca and then we headed to Medina and you can see that in my next video and please guys remember to subscribe like and hit the notification bell